Here they go. <laughs> This is Basher on the left here, he's quite wide, takes up some room. That's Socket, he's the smallest and most practical I suppose. And this one, that's Switch, and he's a bit ungainly, he's a bit tall. But they all move quite well. None of them have got driven wheels, legs. They all move just by swinging, like a garden swing really. And on the right surface, they move very well. This isn't really the right surface, and it certainly isn't big enough. It needs something that's flat like this, but a little bit grippy. Just a little bit. Carpet's no good. As they swing, basically the wheels, let me show you this one, the wheels move, and because they're they twist, they tend to lock up, a bit like skiing I suppose, or ice skating maybe? I've done neither so I couldn't really say. Now, all the functions are the same. <laughs> all the functions are the same, they do have different sort of accents. Different coloured eyes. They're all fairly similar builds but not quite. I think we'll do this lot all in one. We could have some great fun with these. You could sort of wrestle with them. I still say the names are wrong. It should be Nut, Bolt and Washer. Or something like that. Um, or, you know, after whatever Meccano part you want to call them from. They don't do a lot, you know, but they're only 40 quid. And some people think that's a bit much, but they are coming down. You look at it about 50 minutes to an hour to build each one and uh, they're quite good fun I think, they're really quite good fun <laughs> a little limited yes anyway I'm going to shut them up before they take off so here we are then folks, these three characters Basher, Socket and Switch and they're all pretty similar in construction not exactly the same as you can see but there's a variation in arms and a variation in the legs. There is a, a bit of metal mechano in there, there's not a vast amount. Um, best looking one, maybe because of the colours, probably Switch. Um, a little bit ungain. He's, as I said, he, he's a bit top heavy, but then again, he probably moves easier because of that. He's got a bit more of a swing. Basher is a bit wide, you can't fold the arms in much. Um, and a bit on game, but low. Socket's probably the best all round one. Um, depends how much space you've got, of course. As I said, they're all pretty similar. All pretty similar build time within five to ten minutes. If we start with Socket, this is the first one I built. This one took me an hour. The others were quicker, perhaps that was because I was used to it by then. Instructions are clear enough. There's not much in the way of um, white outlining of parts but then again with these colours there's probably not that much need of that certainly not with socket here um, uh, I say an hour to build um, I will say though um, with the white parts they need a bit of black outlining to be honest because you've got more or less the same colour paper of course uh, all nuts and bolts for this one are in the same bag it can be a problem with some sets if there's a lot of nuts and bolts you've got to hunt for the ones you want. With this one there weren't that many so that ain't a problem. Uh, there aren't many metal parts but what is there is very good zinc and a very good Meccano stamping. The bags sell the parts. I've got very little in the way of writing on so that was easy to find the parts you wanted. I, I don't know why that is the case because obviously it's like a lot of warnings and stuff of the small parts and don't swallow the bags and don't stick your head in the bag and all that sort of thing I'm guessing in all sorts of languages. But there ain't none on these. Uh, oh, this one. I can't remember the other two, but we'll get to them shortly. Uh, which made it a lot easier to find the parts, and you didn't have to search and uh, sort them out in the first place. And again, not that there was that many parts. No drive to wheels. It's it's a bit weird, really. None of the wheels are going to drive at all, and 
they float. I suppose that's a good way of doing it. Putting it, they move. They they're in slots and they sort of twist. Front of the same, more so perhaps. And basically, when you push back and twist, it can lock up the wheel one way, and therefore it sort of pushes against it. I'm guessing with the swing of the head. The head with the batteries in is quite. Uh, a weighty thing, so you notice it more with um, switch. It is top heavy, so you notice it more with that. But as I say, it does tend to move a bit better, I suppose. Um, we've got uh, metal parts holding some of the fingers on and the thumbs on this one, and structurally at the rear as well. To be honest, I don't think it really needs that. Uh, it's not too bad. A lot of mechanoid style parts, but these are new. Uh, pretty much the same for everything but different colours there, different designs. This one's the best one in regards um, stability really I suppose, uh, although I don't know if it's going to last much longer because these had the most use so the batteries are uh, tend to be going down a bit. No real issues, uh, a little fiddly to get in here when you come to put the arms on. Uh, but yeah, take your time. They do move up and down a bit. There ain't a lot of room even though you can move them and it moves there. I suppose it would have been nice to have uh, nylock nuts on all the hands and fingers but there's only on these uh, fingers there. Sorry for that alarm people. It'll shut up shortly. Uh, and that's it. Uh, that is uh, socket. Now we'll go on to the next one to make, which was uh, switch. Let's say switch is quite tall, and in regards operating will be exactly the same. We've got these antennae on the top, which uh, you can't see because he's a bit tall. There you are, quite nice, quite colourful. They move. There, yeah, both sides. That one a bit tight. The uh, Upper arms move as well, like that. Same other side. Same here, forearms. The fingers on this one don't move, they're all secured with normal nuts. Um, I'll say he's top heavy. Now, in the instructions for this one, the dark purple parts didn't show up very well at all. It was a bit more of a blob. The definition wasn't there really. It sort of the colour overpowered the shape, if you like. So we could have done with some white outlining on the purple parts, um, and that really is about uh, about it. It seemed a little bit more to do on this one. I won't say involved. A little bit more to do on this one. A few more metal parts to do. A few more nuts and bolts, perhaps. And funnily enough, it was the quickest build at 49 minutes. Um, socket. That's him. That he was. Uh, he was an hour, forty-nine minutes for that one. Uh, a little bit more satisfying build with uh, switch, even though he doesn't look like it. It just seemed a little bit more satisfying. Um, just a little bit more to do. Nothing. I, I won't say challenging at all. You can't really say that anything about these, and that's good because you don't always want complicated things. You want something that's satisfying. You might say easy sometimes, but you want something that works. And these do work, they do seem to work. This is Basher. And as you can see, if you've seen Mechanoid, we've got Mechanoid hands. Putting his thumbs up at the moment. They don't move much. Just a bit there like that. Same on the other side. And then up and down like that, there. Uh, same drive by swinging the head. A little fiddly inside here, right inside his armpit if you like just inside there and I don't know if you can see that, let's hope you can can you see the nylock nut is being held it moves a little bit but then gets gripped by the heads of the bolts either side which means it does come a little bit loose because it's effectively acting as a spanner um, not enough for it to come loose completely unless you pick it up and kept going round and round and round with it but uh, that was a little annoying uh, not a lot to this one really um, lower, wider certainly but of course, oh, I'm in the way now, I ain't got them on of course you can um, 
add your own things or take away. And that is the plan actually. I hope in Santa will bring me three more, one of each, and I'll do my own things with them. Uh, and I can never remember the names, and you can see I've stuck the names on the back, that's Basher. <laughs> and I will be calling the new ones after Meccano Parts. Right, the controls. I've got a funny feeling I might have done a bit of this already, but I'm not sure. So, anyway, I'll do it again, so uh, you don't have to watch all of the other video looking at the sets. So, what have we got then? Well, off switch as it is now, the Zeds. Then the next one is autonomous mode. The, uh, sort of an A there. The next one over there. Micronoid has a mind of his own. He may giggle, fart, babble, dance, or sing in this mode. If there's another me uh, Micronoid nearby, they may start interacting with each other or dance into a synchronised routine. We've already seen that. Uh, next one over, the uh, music there, music symbol, notes, uh, dance mode, mechanoid loves to dance, play music close to your mechanoid, sorry, micronoid, I keep saying that, and he will dance to the beat. If you leave him in this mode too long, he might just start dancing to his own tune. And then the last one is 8-ball uh, mode, where you can ask him a question with a yes or no answer required, and he will answer for you. That's it for the modes, if you like. But we also have um, directional control, forward, left, right, and we can also record as well. So, let's give that a go. Let's hope his batteries last. Right, folks, let's try and record some sequences. He will also record your voice, and they change, or he changes the voice of yours to a more robotic-like voice which is something that neither the old nor the new mechanoids do which is a rather bit of a surprise right I'll switch it on that's um, autonomous mode this is just the first one now so he's doing his own thing now I'm going to press record I ain't done this a lot and the record light is lit, lit up there and it's now flashing slowly at me Push arrow sequence, we go one, two, left, right, you'll be recording this as I go. Now I'll press record again. There we are, and then playback. And he's doing it. He's turning left. He's slightly uphill there, folks. But I think his batteries are on the way out. He's not swinging too well. But there you get the idea with that one. Now, what I'm going to do now is... Uh, do his own thing. I press the record button again. Now, the only way to get rid of what you've done is to press record and go over it. I press record... It took one hour to make me. Press record again. Wait for the bleep. Play back. Now I didn't do any moves. One hour to make me. So there you are. I suppose it's more akin to the Mechasaur in a way. I can't get mine to record, so I think the brain stuff to be honest. Gotta play with that again. But there you are, he's doing his own thing. And the rest are all the same. We'll uh We'll uh, get switch on the go. We'll change to switch. Or we'll switch to switch. It is awkward with this chappy because he's a bit on gain. So, <laughs> now we'll do the same with switch. Press the record button. We're in. Then I'm going to go forward, forward, left, left, right, right. Press record again. Press playback. He's a bit violent. Better battery at all. Let me see. What's he doing there? Yeah, still playing back. He's doing the left turn there. See, he can almost, he can almost turn himself over because he's a bit of a slope on me. But you can see, 
you only turning right there. Look at that. He almost turns round with just a couple of turns. So that was that one. A bit rough, I know, but uh, you get the idea. His height and uh, better batteries are, are really uh, performing well with him. Now we've got Basher. Now, if I remember rightly, I can move his head as well. So I'll switch him on. I'll press record. There we are. And we'll go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. What's going on round here? Why are you pointing that camera at me? Go away! Go away! I've pressed the uh, record button to save. Because we, we're in autonomous mode, so we, they do their own thing. We'll press playback. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. Of course, when you move the head, it moves, makes him walk. So, uh, uh, yeah, pretty strange. Ooh. Oh, we've got a cold. So, they're all the same regards the instructions, uh, recording, movements. No difference there, just the build's slightly different. Now, we're going to try socket again because there's an attack as well. Hold the forward button down. I haven't done this, let's see what happens. Hold it down. Try that again. Would you like to flash one now? It's nice of him, isn't it? I don't think he's alright. I don't know why he seems slower early. I say that he's a bit uphill. Sort of, um, it rises a little towards the back and towards the far right so. <laughs> so there you are I think that's just about all the little features uh, I'll try dance mode I don't want to get the video zapped after going through it all so I was hoping they were going to do their little dance all together come on lads Any time now, come on. You hear clicks on them occasionally, they're doing things, thinking about it much like <laughs> Well folks, it don't look like they're gonna play ball now, will they? Oh, almost together at the same time. It's a bit odd as well because when they do do things together, you've actually switched them on within about a second of each other. There you go. Just about in sync then. Anyway, there you go folks. Uh, I've been at this one long enough now, I think. Meccano Micronoids, a good laugh. Nothing much to build. Quick return on the build and fun. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> what I will say is you need at least two to get the best out of them so you can have them um, interacting with each other. Anyway. That's it, see you again. <laughs>